Hey YouTube, it's Marita Joyce and I'm back with another video. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about audiobooks. The pros and cons of audiobooks. So you guys know that I'm a student and with being a student there is a huge amount of information that I need to get through during the semester. And this semester I decided to try to come up with some alternative ways of handling both my schoolwork and still being able to read books and enjoy books for fun. I recently joined a book club because I wanted to vary my reading content. And school is about to start back up again. So I was like, okay, what's going to be my plan for being able to get through these, all of the books that I have on my TBR and still keep up with my schoolwork? One of the things I looked into was audiobooks. Audiobooks are great. This morning I started listening to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and one of the things I realized was that I could do more. You know, I could get through more books. Like I'm generally reading three to four books at a time. If I could do part of those books like with physical copies and the other half audiobooks, I would get through a lot more books a lot faster and I would still be able to balance my schoolwork. Um, this morning I woke up, I cleaned the kitchen, I washed clothes, I folded clothes, cleaned the bedroom. I did all of that while listening to the book. In my book club, generally they give us about a month. We have about a month to read a book. That's more than enough time to read a book. But what I find that happens, a lot of time I'll, I'll get distracted. I will start bragging about the book. Oh, this book's so great. It's so wonderful. Somebody in my house will grab the book and start reading it, which sets me back in time. And the next thing I know, I'm rushing through at the end of the month trying to finish this book so that I can be prepared to actually speak on it at the book club meeting. So to prevent some of these things from happening and to kind of increase the speed and the number of books that I can get to, I've decided to add audiobooks. So let me go ahead and show you the app that I use. I use Audible and I am currently reading, like I said, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I think the author is Taylor Jenkins Reed and you can see there on my app. Um, I can take notes in this app. I can send out copies to other people. One of the things I worried about is the fact that I love to read a book and then give it away. Or I love to loan out books. Um, and I want I want to share my love of reading with other people and so I was worried with the audiobooks that I wouldn't be able to do that but as you can see up there there's a little send button where you can send a copy of the book let me yeah you can send this book you can share your progress and you can share the link with other people so that kind of eliminates that problem and you can also change the speed of the book and I like to read at 1.25 to 2 and because I like I like hearing things very very fast I want to get through it really quickly if it's moving too slow they're talking too slow I will tend to get bored so that's one of the things I really love about audiobooks is you can actually speed it up I told you guys before I'm a very slow reader so of course this is going to increase the speed that I get through the books one of the other things that I noticed was I can get so much more done. I'm a very busy person and so I like to stay busy. I'm always exercising, I'm always cleaning, I'm cooking, I'm you know on social media, I'm doing so many different things and when you're sitting there reading a physical copy of a book it limits the things you can do. You, you can't drive while reading, okay? And I do a lot of that as well. I do a lot of driving. So the audiobooks will work great for me in my busy life. Like, it, audiobooks, I think, are just perfect for a really busy person. Now, I think I'm going to split up the time between reading, listening to audiobooks and actually reading physical copies of books because I still just love the smell to hold, to touch, to feel a book. I do. Um, I'll also split that time in between my Kindle books because I do have some books on Kindle that I like to read and go through. A lot of those are my school books, but a few of them are just novels that were a lot less expensive to get on Kindle. And that brings me to my next point. Audiobooks are generally less expensive than the physical copies of books. So you could actually save money um, with the audiobooks. This book, I think I have a free, I got like a free trial or something with Audible. Some kind of way I had a points and I ended up getting this book for free, 
which I thought was excellent because that's one less book I have to buy. So that saved me some money. So there's so many pros to audiobooks. Now let's talk about some of the cons. Some of the cons of audiobooks is I personally am the kind of person that um, loud noises, strange squeaky noise, like I, I can be kind of irritated by certain noises. That includes voices. So let's just say someone is narrating this book and they don't have what I would consider to be the most pleasant voice. I would probably miss out on that book. I would probably stop it and I wouldn't listen to that book because that voice would bother me. So that's one of the things if you're like me and you're kind of sensitive to certain noises or certain voices, um, if you find certain people voices to be abrasive, that kind of thing, the audiobooks may not appeal to you. Every single audiobook may not appeal to you dep depending on who's narrating the book. Um, Evelyn Hugo, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is narrated. The lady's voice is fine. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I listened to it this morning, got a lot done while I was doing it. And I was really amazed at how many things I was getting done. But at the same time, I was moving forward in my book. I think I'm on, I'm actually at like chapter 11 um, since starting the book this morning. Like I will be done with this book in no time. And so that's really exciting to me because Sometimes if you're an avid reader like myself, you know, sometimes you get so overwhelmed by how many books you want to read. And I tend to just read multiple books at a time. And so this really takes off some of the pressure. I know that I'm going to get through this book. I know I'll be prepared to discuss the book halfway intelligently at the book club meeting and I'll be able to enjoy my book club meeting. One thing I don't like is to show up for the club meeting and not having finished the book. I just feel like I haven't done my part and so that's that's a huge thing. So that's one of the cons to the book is that you know you may not like the voice. Another con to audiobooks I think is you don't get to see the beautiful books on your shelf. This is extremely important to me. But since I already have so many books, I have like four bookshelves, okay? So I already have a lot of books. So it's not really that important to me to own a lot more. There are certain books, of course, yes, I want to own. But I don't, I'm not desperately wanting to own every single book I come across now because I have so many books already. And I mean, I can only... I can only have so many books before I run out of space. So that's one of the things like if you're a per type of person you just gotta own the book then that that could be a con for you. The audiobook could definitely be a con for you. One of the other things with audiobooks is you know versus a, a hard copy of a book you know you do have to deal with um, technology. So you're going to need a mobile device. You're going to need some kind of device. You're going to need power, those kinds of things. Whereas if you went camping, you just take a hard copy of a book you could read until your heart was content. You're not going to be able to do that unless you have some source of power. If you unless you have some source to be able to access that electronic media to get your book. So that's a con as well. Overall, I find that I like to take the positives from everything. There's always going to be good. There's always going to be bad. What I think is that I can use audiobooks for what they're good for. You know, for me, I'm a slow reader, so they help me to get through books faster. I'm a person who likes to read multiple books at one time. They will help me get through the sheer number of books I want to read. I have a did not finish list. And so with having a did not finish list, I thought about how I feel different about reading a book versus listening. When I'm reading a book, I'm creating the scenes. I'm creating the movie in my head. My imagination is doing that for me. When I'm listening to a book, I, I still have pictures in my head, but a lot of those pictures are kind of distorted because the person who is narrating the book to me, it's theirs. It's the writers and it's the narrators. It's not mine. So I don't really invest a lot of mental energy and imagination into creating these worlds in my head with this book because I feel like it's not really mine. When I read a book, I own it. I feel like it's mine. I create these worlds. I have certain imaginations. I let my imagination go wild with the book. I fill in gaps. I even sometimes create my own stories based on 
the the author story i'm just gonna be quite honest with you i love world building i love to ask what if i love to ask myself questions like after i read a chapter i'll start asking myself all of these questions which will lead my imagination on to a whole nother story that's even outside of the book and I'm sure some of you guys probably do that as well. So it's different listening to a book. I don't usually put as much energy into the world building in my head. I kind of just see it almost like sitting with a good friend and a good friend telling me a story. It's their story. So I'm there to just listen and take it in. And that's how I approach audiobooks. So with it being different and with me seeing it in a different light, it's a different experience. And I think that with it being a different experience, it's something to be had. Like that's something that I need to do. Even if I don't do it full time with all of my books, just doing it sometime, I can reap the benefits of that. I can also uh, feed my brain with a new experience. So yeah, so that's basically what I got from audiobooks. So you guys will see me reading, I mean listening to a lot more books on audio. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something from this. I will leave some links and some Im information um, in the description box for you guys in terms of different options for books, audio, and also since I do some Kindle and some uh, online books, things like that, I'll leave some of that information about some of the resources that I use. And yeah, so that's it. So that is my pros and cons of audiobooks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't feel like, oh, one other thing I want to say before I let you guys go. I do not feel like, and I know some people do, that listening to audiobooks is cheating. I, I've heard some talk about, well, you didn't really read it because you listened to it. In my opinion, it, 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 it doesn't go as deep. I would agree that, you know, reading a book takes you a lot deeper. At least it does me. In terms of imagination, in terms of a lot of, you know, words and seeing those words, things like that, as opposed to hearing them. But I don't see it as cheating, especially if you're consuming a huge number of books and you still are actually reading books. You're not just listening to them on only.